Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Graeme here. Thank you for joining me. I'm, um, <clears throat> I was reflecting on the last episode and I was telling you about certain things that was going on in our lives and what we needed to do to correct um, the balance. Um, more so about a relationship uh, of my wife and her mother, which was very, very one-sided. It was one person dominating, uh, manipulating, and being pretty much um, a personality that none of us could, could allow to be brought into our family space. Um, I, I'll just quickly go back and you know this was going on for years you know 22 years since we've been married 22 years and it's been going on since day one um different levels of you know intrusion into our you know mental space our mental health it would affect elisa in 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 an incredible ways that i'll give you an example this person would come and stay with us for a month. Uh, and after that month, it took us three months to get over it. The personality, the energy level that she would bring and what she would leave behind and the devastation was so traumatic that the relief of when she'd gone was overwhelming. And we had to re uh, reconnect all of us would have to it's like clean our space of negative energy and bring back harmony that we you know used to have before her arrival it, and, and I'm not exaggerating I, I am absolutely being honest in the way I'm describing this you know, it, it sounds quite dramatic, and you know anyone who goes through these these processes with their in-laws, let me know because I'm not I'm not exaggerating this. It, it was that hard on us all. I'm I'm a strong character, so I can I can um, put up my own boundaries, and it doesn't affect me in a way. But when it affects my wife, it affects me. And she was doing certain things that would um, noticeably try and embarrass me. It would it would be like she wanted to put in a a wedge between my wife and me, but in the same time making long term plans to put herself into our home when she retired it's a complicated um, discussion and you know I'm not going to paint the picture that she was so bad or so you know terrible she had her own understandings of how her daughter should be and it got to the point of narcissistic because there were certain traits that was developing over the years and it was emotional blackmail it was all about what we needed to do for her and the emotional blackmail was compounded time and time again every time this person would come and stay with us and my wife would just build up and build up and build up this guilt or this obligation she had uh, or felt um, with the constant reminder that this is what you need to do for me. This is what I expect you to do for me. And this is where I'm going to take you with no, no uh reaction to the point where well what does 
what does my husband think or what does my husband's opinion mean that didn't uh, that didn't matter my opinion meant nothing to her and I could cope with that because I when I was working when I was you know pre being diagnosed everything because I could keep controls on certain things and help my wife but when I um, was diagnosed not so long ago the whole picture changed we became very very close as a family because one of us was ill and we you know the support network between the two boys my wife became much more apparent we closed ranks and it identified where we were being where we were vulnerable where were we being attacked psychologically you know and there's certain things that happened <clears throat> that made me realize you know we had to do something about this and it was a certain thing that happened that that was it we we drew the line and we had to control um, the boundaries and we weren't allow we weren't going to allow any more this negative impact on us this negative psychological impact that was happening to my wife every other day with phone calls or every other day you know um, a parcel would arrive with clothes that my wife didn't choose didn't buy or didn't want it was a it was a control uh, which would end result in being a guilt process my wife would feel and again I am not exaggerating and I'm not you know trying to you know give a, a, a an approach to something that hadn't been done it had all this happened and more and you know I'm only giving you a, 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 a taste of what was happening but what I wanted to say is that through all this we stay strong together through my illness we stayed strong together although this was happening to us we knew something would come up that would make us react and take back control and that's the key word there take back control I took back control of my health and my wife took back control of her life and how it was being impacted and that's all we can hope for is that we can have our own life live our own life and choose what we do in our lives because they belong to us you know if I choose to stay ill I will stay ill I don't choose to do that I choose to be positive I choose to be healthy and I choose to move past the illness and my wife although it takes longer for her to adjust you know she is now in a positive place she has her boundaries and she will not allow people to be abusive or psychologically abusive anymore so this is just something I wanted to talk about to get off my chest because I'm not going to talk about this anymore after this episode but it was something a place where we chose to ignore for a long time and just endure it and just cope with it and just you know brush it on the carpet and you know deal with it at another time but because the because it increased in the last year and it was magnified and it was compounded by certain issues it came to the fore and it had to be dealt with it, it made us deal with it so we're in a much better place you know my wife's issues is she's in a much better place now and which makes me happy because 
if she's not in a bad place, that means I'm not in a bad place and the boys don't feel it. So that's all I wanted to say about this one. Thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure. Um, I'll see you on the next episode. And bye for now.